Hey, I'm going to show you how to do a basic depth first free traversal. This is a topic that comes up a lot in interview questions and just helps you think about working with growth structures and tree structures when you're programming. It's a good thing to know. It's actually pretty simple, although a lot of the explanations out there I thought were a little overly complicated. So this is like the simplest possible way to kind of explain tree traversal. We're going to use a very basic tree here. It's just going to have four nodes, a root node with two children, a left and a right node, and then a left node will have another left node called three. The first thing that we need to do is represent our data structure. So we can create a new class called class, and we'll just create a class called node. that to initialize you know, everything in Python needs self as the first parameter of the init function. And then our nodes will have a value, a left with a default of none, and that's a reference to its left child, and then a reference to its right child, which also defaults to none. And we just set self dot value value. Got a typo here. And self dot left to left and self dot right to right. And that's it. It's pretty straightforward. We now have a class that can store the value, which for our root will be like one, and then a reference to a left and a right child. And that's all we need to represent any possible tree structure. And we can kind of demonstrate that by initializing our tree by creating a new node with value one. And we could do root.left is a new node with value two root dot left also has a child with value three and our root has a right child with value two. Cool. So uh, this is actually enough to represent our little tree here and that basically leaves us with traversing the tree. So you can traverse a tree both uh, depth first and breadth first. In this video, we're just gonna do a depth first traversal. We can do a breadth first video in the future, but even with a depth first traversal, you have a little control over what order you operate on the nodes of the tree. And there's three general categories for that. There's a pre-order traversal, an in-order traversal, and a post-order traversal. And essentially the difference is just what order you um, look at the value of each node. And that'll make a little more sense as we go through this. We'll start with a pre-order traversal which I would expect to return one, two, three, and two. The reason for that is that in a pre-order traversal, you start with the root node and then go all the way down the left-hand subtree before finally doing the right-hand. So let's write that up. So let's create a new method called depth first traversal and what we want to do is just start with let's use a different variable name since we've already defined root we just need to pass our function a node so we could actually start anywhere on the tree but 
you know, generally you're going to pass the root node into our function and start traversing from there. And this is going to be a recursive function. So the first thing you need to do when writing a recursive function is figure out what the base case is. And in our case, you know, the base case when we want to terminate can just be if this node value is none, we don't need to do anything. And I'll explain why that is in a second. And just return. The reason that this will work is like, let's imagine that we're calling this function and eventually we're going to call it with this value here, three. And that's going to call it again with the value of its left and right children. And that's going to be none. So it'll end at that point. And I guess that will make a little more sense once I show you how we call it recursively. So it's pretty straightforward. We just call it again with no left. And no dot right. Cool. So this is all you need to traverse the tree. So what about this makes it pre-order versus in-order versus post-order? The only thing that makes a difference is when you act on the current node. So let's say that I print the value of node first before calling recursively depth first traversal on node left and node right and then run this. Ah. First of all, I get an error, so. None type is not callable. Oh, because I heard that one, okay. And then obviously we need to call our function. So depth first. And then we call this with the root node. Okay, so now we're gonna call this function. And what do we get? We get one, two, three, two. So that's what we expected. And this is in fact a pre-order traversal so what, is, what does it mean? I mean, the only thing it means is that we're printing the node before we call left and right. And the reason that it works out this way is, like you can just kind of run through it in your mind. Imagine we call this for the first time here, and we call it with the root node, which has a value of one, which is gonna print one first. And then it's gonna call left, with node of value two. And so it's always gonna do the root first and then go down the left before it goes down the right. That's really all that's happening. And then for the other two orderings, it's as simple as this. We call this pre we'll just copy this and do in order in order so an in order traversal is exactly the same, except we want to visit the left subtree before operating on the value. 
like this is going to give us a different order. So with pre-order traversal, we did one, two, three, two, which is one, two, three, and then two. But this way, we're going to get three, two, one, two. And the reason for that is before we ever print out the value, first we go all the way down the left subtree. And then after we're done with left subtrees, then we start printing out the value. So we're going to get more of a pattern where we start at the bottom and go back up to the top and then go to the right hand subtree. A post order traversal is exactly what you think it is. It's just operating on the value last, which if you think about that, that's going to do both of these traversals first. It's going to go all the way down before it comes back up. So let's call this one post. So this one is going to do the left-hand subtree and the right-hand subtree before it ever does the root. This is actually commonly used in algorithms to delete nodes in a tree because it lets you delete all the children before deleting any parents. It just prevents you from causing any orphans. It's a good way to do a deletion algorithm in a tree structure. You'll notice we always did the left tree before the right tree. I mean, normally that's all you ever need to do, but you know, if you ever wanted to visit the right tree first, all you'd have to do is swap the order of these two lines. And you'd end up with something slightly different where you would visit three, two, two, and then one. Yeah, so that is basically all there is to tree traversal. You're just calling the function recursively and then operating on each value as it comes up. Thanks for watching.